Hey gang, Wiggy here. Okay, let's take a look at the second source that I really like to use uh, when I'm trying to find content to curate, and that's simply just YouTube. Uh, nine times out of ten, if not more, when I'm curating content, I'm curating, or I'm looking for one of two things, either text, you know, via articles or, or, or whatever. Uh, that's what we looked at in the last video, just searching uh, Google. And if I'm not looking for that, then I'm looking for a video that I can embed in my post and that either supports my claim or you know adds to the uh, value somehow by you know supporting you know the points I'm making or uh, maybe this is where I'm going to start with I'm just going to have a video there and I'm just going to add my critique or response or whatever to it so um, much in the same way that I used Google to find text I just come to YouTube and I search for my keyword uh, and if the keyword is too specific then I will search uh, a little bit broader, maybe the niche itself, depending upon the keyword, uh, whatever it is, uh, and YouTube for a video. Now, we want to do kind of the same thing and treat YouTube the same way we did Google in that we only want to find videos from uh, that are legitimate information, uh, that are from you know authority sites, that sort of a thing, uh, and they, uh, that aren't from niche sites or from people trying to sell something you know basically doing the same thing you're doing because you don't want to promote your competition and I'll show you a couple things here to look for uh, when you're searching the videos now I've already pulled up a few examples because there's stuff I want to show you and uh, so we'll look at what to look for when you're searching but when you actually look at the videos themselves try to determine whether or not it's a video that you should curate uh, a couple things to look at there that you'll want to avoid now when you were in Google, you wanted to find content that was definitely authoritative and people knew from the outset, hey, this is from whatever resource and it implied instant credibility. That is still a good idea here with your YouTube videos. However, it's not as big of a deal conceivably just because uh, although it, it doesn't make sense from a logical perspective, it's still just the way people work people place a little bit more emphasis on on videos they have a higher perceived value obviously if you're doing if you have bought this product you're into internet marketing and you know a little bit about this already you can take the same content and you can uh, let's say offer it to somebody in a PDF file and that doesn't have the perceived value that offering let's say uh, in, in mp3 form or audios would that doesn't have the perceived value as offering it in video form you know it's all the same content it's just these different ways of administering or giving it to somebody and many times video has a higher perceived value than audio which has a higher perceived value many times than even just a plain old PDF format does well you're basically kind of the same thing here somebody you could have a video embedded on your site and even though it's not from a well-known authoritative source or whatever the peop the visitors that come to your site are likely going to uh, give a little bit more automatic credibility just because it is a video you know again logically I know it doesn't make sense but it's just kinda how human psychology works so try and find one from a, an authoritative source if you can but if not it's not as big of a deal because people are gonna watch it and you're gonna be able to add your you know your own content to it whether you totally agreeing with the video or the video is is supporting whatever point you're trying to make or maybe you're going to make a counter argument whatever so again we've uh, just done a basic search here on how to cure acne and we scroll down don't worry about you know the paid ads we don't care about that kind of stuff we take a look at the first video here how to cure acne clear skin one week can we see acne.org so that could conceivably be from you know acne.org you know we looked at that in the last site or in the, excuse me in the last video uh, seemed to be a uh, uh, big authority site so we can look at that one and we scroll down a little bit how I cure my face you know uh, cure my crappy skin medication I'm on blah 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 like me on Facebook hmm like me on Facebook sounds a little scammy we'll skip that one uh, that sounds like that could be somebody that has their own niche site or something like that and they're kind of doing the same thing you are so we don't want to promote them then we go down to the next one fight against blemishes I know we could have looked at that one I just didn't this time I looked down here and I saw you know e by e how beauty that's you know looks like a division of e how that's great um, we know they're they are you know authority site you know plenty of great information people are gonna ha you know instantly give that a credibility so I decided to look at that and then I saw this expert village I wasn't sure what that was I didn't open it then I saw this style Susie I wondered who that was um, so I went ahead and opened up that site 
or that video and then I saw here guide for dummy dot com guide for dummy how to cure acne scars I, I looked at the the uh, the thumbnail here and honestly to me it was only a minute a uh, couple minutes long to me that just kind of screamed like it was probably some sort of a, a niche site of some sort or something like that I just you know I could have looked at it um, and if you were doing the search you very well could and, t and take a look it might have been a good uh, video I just didn't open it uh, next one I didn't open I saw the tiny.cc that is a URL shortener that again screamed uh, niche site to me so I didn't open it and then I saw how to uh, treat acne here I, I just didn't open that for whatever reason I saw this this screamed niche site to me but I opened it because there was something I want to show you and then I saw this here this la uh, last video was the one I decided to open best acne treatment tips uh, obviously it's just this guy talking here for a couple minutes best acne treatment tips dot com that screams niche site to me but then I see Dr. James Martin so I said hmm well maybe this guy is a doctor maybe this is a legitimate uh, legitimate video here that I could use so I decided to open up that one and uh, take a look at that so let's take a look at these actual videos I, I've already opened them and I've already played them because I don't want to wait through all that kind of stuff this is the fir first one and you'll see here we've got acne.org in the description now the first thing I would always recommend to you is open up the description all the way and take a look if there are websites listed in the description and if they are take a look at what those websites are if those are you know valid authoritative sites or something like that that's fine if you see uh, URL much like we talked about in the last video that look like it's to a niche site or you see URL shorteners you know tinyurl.com or tiny.cc or something like that um, there's you know a metric shitload of those out there uh, you know I would bypass those because those are probably niche sites or people doing something along the same lines you are so I wouldn't even worry about it now I started this and I've got the sound turned down because I don't care and this is you know about 10 minutes here this guy is talking about uh, you know zits for 10 minutes or so so uh, the one thing I would notice here is and I didn't click on this but this is something we're gonna look at in another video you see want to make your pores vanish click here and that's obviously a link to a YouTube video. YouTube allows you to have these types of uh, boxes in your videos now, and I'm sure you've seen those. So just make note of that. This seems to be a YouTube video. Doesn't seem to be any big deal. Uh, that's fine. Now, when I went through and I just kind of skimmed through this thing, it just seems to be this guy talking the whole time. Uh, he doesn't seem to uh, ever say, hey, come visit my site or give me a you are uh, an email address or anything else along those lines um, he may say something here at the very end I like I say I didn't exactly watch the whole video but that's the kind of thing you want to look for make sure there's nothing popping up on the the video listen to what they have to say make sure it's good information and more more than anything make sure they're not trying to sell anything so that video seemed to be okay that could potentially be a good video to curate here is this other one from eHow I uh, played that. Here's this girl talking about, you know, whatever. We're not going to take a look at this. Um, scroll down a little bit. We open up the entire, uh, what you call it? We open up the entire uh, description. Don't necessarily see any websites. We see this contact, alliesmiss.net. Not sure exactly what that is. So what I would do is, again, watch the whole video. If it's from ehow.com, there's probably a pretty good chance that there, you know, it's not a pitch. You know, it's not just... Uh, a lead in to get somebody to visit a website so they can get their email address or you know pimp them a product or something else like that so this one site would probably be you know okay this here is style Susie whoever that is um, again if we open I've already got the description opened up here you see she doesn't have any uh, she doesn't have any URLs to any niche sites or anything else like that listed she does have you know her Facebook and Twitter and form spring or her blog that kind of thing and that's fine you know there's nothing wrong with that you know if this is somebody that's legitimately just putting their uh, you know kind of a uh, a blogger or like a, a V blogger video blogger that type of a person um, and you see over here in the sidebar looks like she's got several other uh, videos as well just go through play it and you see um, she sits here and she talks about you know uh, ac how to cure acne products and tips you know for 12 minutes so 
God knows I don't want to watch that whole thing right now. So anyway, listen to what she has to say. Go to the very end. You'll go through the video. See whether or not she ever comes up with something that says, hey, you know, visit my site here or this, you know. Basically, what you're trying to avoid and the point I'm trying to get at is you don't want anything in the video that's going to distract your reader uh, from your site and from your content. Even if you have an authority video like ehow.com or something, or a video from an authority site like ehow or something like that, if there is a call to action in that video that says click here or visit this link or you know get your free whatever here that kind of a thing you don't want any of that because that is going to that's just a competing call to action with whatever you, the call to action is on your site whether it's AdSense or whether it's uh, uh, you know an affiliate link or trying to get people on a squeeze page or submit their email whatever it is you don't want a competing call to action so that's what you want to look for and we're gonna look at a couple examples here now this is obviously um, somebody that's got a niche site you know you open up the description and OMG OMG tinyurl.com that is likely either a direct link to let's say a uh, uh, an affiliate uh, pitch or maybe it's you know a link to this person's site um, you see right here in the video health and fitness niche.com um, again, I've got the sound turned down, but if you listen to it, it's just kind of a basic screen capture PowerPoint type video. You see this URL here. If you go fast forward through the video, you'll see here towards the end, I believe. Let me wait till the end here. And here is what I highly recommend for you. You see that. And you see, oh, well, there they are talking about this, this product, and they're kind of pimping this product. And I can't remember right. Okay, um, basically, it all ends up in being you know a, a long lead into a review of this product called you know Clear Skin Max. Okay, and that's obviously what these people are promoting, and that's fine. You know, the video itself isn't bad. However, that's not something you want to use on your site. You know, this may not be a product you're promoting. Uh, obviously, more than anything else, you'll see that. They've got their URL, healthandfitnessniche.com. You don't want somebody seeing that and saying, hmm, this is a pretty good video. I'm going to bypass reading whatever this person said on their site and go type in uh, this URL, and they leave your site completely. You don't want that. So this is a video you do not want to curate. Now, this is the last one. This, uh, If we take a look at the description, we see bestacnetreatmenttips.com, free video. Okay, that screams you know, squeeze page or niche site, something like that. But this guy is supposedly a doctor, right? Dr. James Martin. Maybe there's some legitimate information in here. So we play it, and it's obviously this guy talking, looks like in front of his closet door or whatever. And that's fine. You know, we scroll through, and it just looks like he's talking and talking. He could be presenting some great information here, and that would be fine. But you'll notice if we get all the way to the end, that for my free step-by-step -step guide to clear, you know, visit, etc another one of those boxes again you've probably seen this a thousand times that disqualifies this video completely right away because if that pops up on your site somebody's gonna see that and instead of uh, reading what's uh, what else is on your on this page that you've curated this video to or worrying about what kind of call to action you have or whatever this is going to entice them to either open up a new tab and visit this guy's site or completely just go to the URL bar or the you know bar there and type in this URL right away and leave your content and leave your site immediately and so you completely lost out on that visitor and that potential customer so you don't want to deal with any of that this is a video you would not want so there you go there's a few tips you can use on finding videos to curate uh, it on your own site and we will look at one more source here in the next video and we'll uh, see you there.